Hi, welcome to RMAT. Today I'm doing a series of videos on applications of logs. In this video, I wanna talk about the decibel scale. So it, in this question, it says, the National Campaign for Hearing Health states that hearing loss results from prolonged exposure to noise of 85 decibels or higher. So hearing loss, yikes. Um, so people who work with power tools take precautionary measures and such. Okay, so Sandra takes a subway train. The intensity of the sound from the subway train is measured at 3.2 times 10 to the negative three. This is watts per square meter. And it says find the intensity level in decibels. So the generic equation um, for the human response to generic stimuli, such as sound, light, or pressure, pressure is given by this generic equation. Um, in this, the I naught is where everything starts, the initial. K is a constant, and for decibels, the constant is 10, and the initial is 10 to the negative 12. So to figure out our decibels, we just need to do a little bit of plugging and chugging. So 10 times log of 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 10 to the negative 12. And if we throw this into our calculator, we get 95 decibels. People don't always think about how loud the ambient noise around them is in a place like a subway or even in a car. Um, so that was Sandra's way of getting around. But what about Tanner? Tanner prefers to take his car but the noise, the intensity of the sound from the car and the traffic is 1.3 times 10 to the negative four watts per square meter. So in this case, we have the same basic equation. We have the 10, we have the log, we change the numerator of the argument of the log to 1.3 times 10 to the negative four, though the denominator stays as 10 to the negative 12. And when we throw this into our calculator, we get that in this case, Tanner's car is 81 decibels. So a little bit safer. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.